where you speak on the mechanics of memory, how memory operates. Just like, uh, say, maybe one bank account, whatever you have deposited, and then it comes out as you are in contract with the bank. It's just that, something we keep on storing, and at time it keeps on coming out. And it's a big automatic functioning, the impressions of every experience keep stored in the, in the reservoir of the mind. Now, this portion of the mind which contains all the expressions of the experiences is called in Sanskrit chit, C-H-I-T, chit. Chit means the storehouse of impressions. And from there, the memory comes up. There may be some outer cause for that particular memory to come up. Something, any, be it any, doesn't matter. Hmm? If one sees the yellow bench there, with that one may be reminded of orange, or of gold, or of oh, something. So, there would be some outer impulse for the, for the screen, for the screen of impressions to show up. Someone impression comes up, like that. Something from outside, impulse goes in, it, hmm, the outer impulse gets to the deposited impression of the past, and the collision of the two comes up, either just as a memory or a desire. If it comes up as a desire, then the senses take over and then puts it to action, start working on that. And if it is only a memory, then it doesn't translate into a desire. But generally it does. One memory and some desire and then action following that desire, so this is how past creates future. Something of the past and it keeps on creating and creating and creating and creating, like that. But when bliss consciousness is gained, the goal of all desires is reached. In the permanent state of bliss consciousness, in CC, the goal of all desires is fulfilled. Desires may be there, individual desires, but the goal of all desires is fulfilled. The goal of every individual desire is some achievement, and through that achievement, happiness. A desire, every single individual desire aspires to achieve something, and through that objective achievement, subjective happiness is the ultimate goal. Some happiness, some happiness. There could be a million desires, each desire 
want some happiness, some happiness, some happiness, some happiness. When the consciousness is permanently, infinitely happy, that is a state of fulfillment of all desires. Not every desire is fulfilled, but the goal of all desires, the goal of every desire is more than fulfilled. Desire of having a house, if I had a house, now every time when you are living in some rented house, oh, you need a study like that, if I had a study like that, how nice it will be. If I had a meditation room like that, how nice it Every time that rented house uh, begins to jar, if I had a house, if I had a house, now that desire. Now the house is gained, some happiness out of it, but it's not all the happiness that one could think of. Hmm? That thing, that thing, that thing, that each thing has an aspect of contentment, one aspect of contentment, one aspect. Bliss consciousness is a state of permanent contentment. Nothing more than uh, that could ever be possible. Bliss consciousness, permanent happy mood eternally, state of eternal contentment. Even though desires are not fulfilled, but the purpose of all desires is fulfilled, and therefore desires do not bring cravings like that, like that, like that. And if a desire comes in that great powerful status of the mind, it gets fulfilled. But because one is living the fulfillment of all desires spontaneously, one is not much influenced by the fulfillment of desire or by the non-fulfillment of desire or by the desires. Just as a very, very wealthy businessman is not influenced by some gain, some loss, some gain, some loss, he has enough. So, the, that is why it is recommended to develop such a state of life where one would live in the fulfillment of all desires. It does not mean that one will have no desire in CC, only it means that one will not lose one's life in working for any desire one will be in the fulfillment of desire. Bliss consciousness is that state where one does not lose oneself in the effort to fulfill desires like that. And this is said to be skill in action, that the actor is established in that infinite value of life, whatever he desires, does not shake him down. Such a state of contentment. When a wealthy businessman wants his son to do business, he doesn't want him to go through all the stresses and strains of business. He gives him a few million dollars, gives him a good expert manager, and just he enjoys this, 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 this. So when the Almighty designed this human nervous system, all capabilities have been, have been designed in this. Bliss consciousness, use that capability. But if that son of a millionaire, having all the millions at his disposal to do business and not feel worried, if he doesn't use all that money in business, he, he starts to suffer. With a little money when he do, does business, then he strains more, enjoys less, which was not the original intention of the capable father. So the bliss consciousness is 
has been designed to be lived in life by man. Man's nervous system uh, is capable of that living. But due to lack of knowledge, people keep on suffering unnecessarily. Hmm? 